Hello everyone, it's Freefall here. And first of all, I should say Happy New Year to you all. We're now in January 2022. And I've realised that it's been over three years since I last added any videos to this channel. So I really apologise for that. And it's my intention in 2022 to add more um, remediations and um, fixings of vulnerabilities that may be discovered in a penetration test. And the first one I'm going to kick off with today is SMB null session enumeration, which is quite an old vulnerability, but it still shows up in many tests. And actually, just last year in 2021, uh, there was one engagement where I compromised a domain admin account within 30 minutes purely through this vulnerability alone. So the setup, what I've got here, first of all, as you can see, I'm running Kali Linux. That's the test machine or test operating system, sorry. We've got um, a domain controller, Windows Server 2019. We've also got a Windows 10 Enterprise Workstation 001. And the second workstation is Workstation 002. Back to Kali, Kali Linux. And I'm just going to open up um, the vulnerability scanner I'm using is Nessus. And you can see here that um, 130 is the domain controller, 131 is um, workstation one, and 132 is workstation two. If we click into the vulnerabilities, you can see three mediums. And the one that we're going to look at is this one here, SMB use host SID enumeration. And there's, there's another one which they're, they're attributed to the same vulnerability. So let's click into this one. Um, and it's, as it says here, um, is enabled to enumerate local users without credentials. And this is bad because when an attacker um, or a penetration tester gets onto the network, first thing they're after doing is enumerating as much information as possible. And if they can get the usernames without authentication, as is the case here, you can see, for example, Joe Blogs, SQL Service, Bob Smith, uh, admin.freefall, that gives them a starting point for a password attack so getting all them user names is quite bad and um, this is what we're going to i'm going to show you how bad this can be so we found it on the um vulnerability scanner now i always personally like to manually test these things so what we can do and just also show you back to the vulnerability scan uh vulnerability scanner sorry it's got the IDs 1105, 1106, these IDs. And we're going to use a tool called Enum for Linux to verify this. And the IP address of the main controller. I'll just kill it there. Okay. And the reason I've killed it is because by default, the red range is 500 to 550 and 1000 to 150. If you remember going back to the vulnerability scanner, these are in the 1100 ranges. So we need to change the default rig ranges for um, Enum for Linux. So Enum for Linux, here we go. Uh, we changed the, we put the minus capital R. So the rig range we're starting is 1100 to 1120. And we'll hit enter. That's exactly what we needed right here. You can see we've got a list of usernames. So you can imagine if this was a big domain uh, with hundreds of people in the company, this is going to give you a lot of information, especially the usernames. The more users, the better, because someone in that company will almost guaranteed have a weak password of maybe password one, two, three, um, company name at one, football team in the local area. Um, just just things like that as an example but the more users the more chances you have got of having um, someone with a poll password so uh, what we're going to do now is create a user list and then we are going to just uh, clear that up so we just have the user names We 
go. And we'll just I'll pop that to user text. Okay, so we've now got a user file on here. So once we've got users, just go to MSF console and we can um, search for SMB. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use this SMB login module, and type in info to bring up information. And the first thing we need to do is we need to give it the user file. controller IP address and then finally we're going to set the SMB password and this is just what I typically do once I find this enumeration uh, once I've enumerated the usernames I'd start having password attacks now it's really important to, to state here that Windows accounts have a lockout policy um, in, in, in the information sometimes received from null sessions, you can sometimes get password um, policy information. However, that isn't prevalent here. Um, what we what we can assume though is there's a lockout policy um, of three. So I recommend only using making two attempts every thirty minutes, not to lock out your users. You're going to upset people if you start locking accounts out. Okay, and then, and then what I do is make a note every of the time and the password I used, and then every 30 minutes just try two maximum. So we set the SMB password, password one, two, three, and we'll run. Uh, let me see, say an error, just miss something, pull up local, SMB pass, get text. Okay, I spotted the mistake. Uh, so if we just go SMB domain, three, four, local info, run. There we go. Okay, so what we can see here from the um, information returned from that exploit, the module is that some of them have failed. But can you see this green icon here, the plus? Uh, what we've got here is bob.smith with the password, password123 is a success. And as I said previously, uh, sorry, earlier on this video at the beginning, I actually ran this um, and within 30 minutes, I got three users and one of them was a domain administrator. So that was them compromised in the 30 minutes. Okay, so most importantly now, we're going to work on the remediation of this finding. So to do that, we need to switch over to the server 2019 domain controller. And from the dashboard, we're just going to choose group policy management. So looking at group policy management, then you can see I've created some group policy objects here, which I would certainly not recommend. But what I've done is this is just for the purpose of the lab. I've made it deliberately vulnerable. I've disabled Defender and Firewall just to prevent any um, you know, people testing on the lab any um, payloads etc so they've been disabled and i've disabled the lockout policy so as i say i would not recommend you using these settings but what i've got here is to actually enable null sessions to make it vulnerable and let's review this so first of all we need to go to uh, computer configuration pref policies sorry windows settings security settings their local policies and security options. And then I'll just expand this a bit. Um, okay, and we're just going to go down to where it says network access. And you can see most policy settings say not defined. So here are the ones that I've defined to make it purposely vulnerable. And it's server 2019. 
However, whilst it is made vulnerable, what, what I must stress is the reason I still see this on um, engagements is because it's typically a company that's migrated from, say, server 2003 to 8, and then to 12, and then later to 16 or 19. And when people migrate the servers to a new server, what they don't sometimes realize is they've also migrated um, old uh, vulnerable group policies. So it, this is really important why to consider a penetration test as well and internal engagement, just to make sure everything is running as expected. And we're going to change these now. So um, allow access for SID, anonymous access. We're going to disable that. Okay, um, do not allow anonymous enumeration of some accounts, enable. Uh, this is These are the settings which you would be choosing to fix this issue. And finally, okay. Now what we need to make sure we do is uh, GP update forward slash force to force the group, new group follow policy changes. Great stuff, okay, it's completed successfully. Now with a bit of luck, if we uh, run Enum for Linux again, there we go. Okay, access denied, red cycling not possible. We do still have um, the domain name. That's you know that can be that can be um, sort pretty easily. That's not a big deal. But what we're saying here is it's it's now not enabling us to get them usernames. So that's now made this vulnerability um, or rendered it useless. So then then group policy changes. And if we go back, just to, even though we've done it manually to test, um, I always just like to clarify, we'll go back to vulnerabilities and you can see here that um, we have these. And then what I'm going to do, you know, just to save time, here's one I made earlier. Um, we go on to this one. This is when I did it earlier, vulnerabilities. And you can see the two ones that were associated with SMB null session enumeration have now been cleared. Okay, so that's um, that's all for this video, guys. I hope that you found it useful. Uh, I certainly will be adding some more over the a couple more over the next coming weeks. So, thanks for watching, and if you like the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you again soon.